about the size of it. This man runs into the forest, breaking its red-tipped branches, flails among the ice-encrusted leaves, is, he says, the poet of himself. He sees himself, his vividness of shoulder, his strong arms, as one with what he fractures. He contains, he says, what he has run inside, says Woods. Better he should go mostly, creep flat as a dry leaf, write on snow calligraphy of his own diary doings, claim only a single errand run, report one nut. Half past. This is the place where the map gives out, worn in its folds as it long has been. Your labels thin, mother, daughter, sister, wife, and everywhere an equal sky fills the unstable woods. Your shadow legs as if you could step out of it. What's left? The work you thought your best, like a blazed stump in a logged pasture, cannot call your footsteps to it. Half past midlife, you find yourself in a rough barren where no trees or brambles block your way. There is no path. Whichever way you turn will be toward darkness. Choose. The plot of your unworded story is your own. Or have the path and you run out together, overgrown, emplaced. Will the horizon part or a long stare come down from those clouds mountainous that pass and pass and never speak? Write everything. These minutes are your own. Business arising has been paid to each according to her need, and you need nothing. No map, no compass, and no plan. There is still light. I am the cross of mirrors. I stand between two mirrors. They reflect each other. Their lights cross, close. A door they are to inner light, the outer fire. The door of mirror into mirror is ajar. Not open, never fully so. The lights would kill me trembling in their cross. A child's hand holds them open. I stand between two mirrors. They reflect each other. A swallow flies from the sundial, leaves a shadow. Lighting leaves a leafless shade. It is all light in the swallow's eye. The mirrors shatter daybreak. Darkness flies into the sun, which is its nest, which is all mirrors crossing in one place. I burn. I am the cross of mirrors, door to light, not open but a small child's hand keeps it ajar. Jar, light, a water glass of flame, I burn. The swallow sings, I am the cross of mirrors, door to light.
music for a while. Music can touch the gabby heart as words can't do. A star which has no music can exhaust our speech. Heaven casts its fiery spears in vain. The children of the earth like corn flourish in golden brevities. At something like a Phoebe's note, harsher, perhaps, in the August heat, repeats, repeats. The woods are stuffed. The gods for whom Bach, Handel are but gnats and spill their music like the foam of some spent robin on the dusk. The gods may not exist. If music laps, eternity grow bored, a cry in the streets. We must invent. A small bird calls in the great dark. Say, darkness is God's listening. Say so. The stars perspire. The stars perspire, go in and out of living like small bugs. An absence like a stone door stands between. You put your hand up to it and it drains your body heat. Eat it like snow. You will die of it. Against this wilderness, this plain forgetfulness, a bird from the dim rafters of its tree poses its miniature machine, its sweat, its tiny voice.
the thing outside. A desperate unhappiness lies hereabouts, like a house pet wants in, wants out, or courses the back streets, but nothing diverts its focus long. Neither the moon whose laden finger stripes the house, nor the attention of a friend drowning nearby, but swimming hard. I close my doors. Its voice comes in the window, short of breath, catching its words as if they hurt. I leave a bit of chopped food on the step. Almost enough. It grabs and runs. It's crouching under the bushes there. It would overwhelm me like a sea in which I do not choose to swim. Like Noah on his splinter, I'm afloat. Like Noah's wife, I tip my glass. Cheers, I say, to the dark outside. And the darkness whispers back. <laughs>